today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Lucy's Picnic. Now, children, is everyone ready for the tour of the Elf Factory? Yes! This way, please. <laughs> All aboard! Next stop, level 99. Hold tight! <laughs> ah, my tummy! <laughs> Here we are, the Elf Factory. Goodness me, look at all this rubbish. Don't you ever tidy up? This isn't rubbish, Nanny Palum. These are the raw materials we use to make toys. The plastic bottles are made into gloop. <laughs> the old tin cans are made into clockwork gongs. And the old paper and card goes into the pulping machine and gets squished into flat sheets, which are folded into new boxes for our toys. Wow! That's very clever. Elves are very clever. And we're, we're elves! <laughs> this way... Whee! Whee! The Elf Factory produces one new toy every second. What happens when you go to bed? Does the Elf Factory stop? Certainly not. We work day and night to make sure the children of the world get their toys. The Elf Factory never stops. Oh, the Elf Factory stopped. What? Slight problem, I'm afraid, wise old elf. We've run out of plastic, metal and old paper. Let's just magic up some more. No, not magic. We're elves and we... Ugh, don't do magic. So what are you going to do? We'll simply go to the Great Elf Tower. Ooh. To the Great Elf Tower. Tower. What is the Great Elf Tower? Oh, it's a wondrous place. I've never heard of it. The Great Elf Tower gives us all the things we need to make toys. How does it do that? When big people have picnics in the Little Kingdom, they put plastic bottles, tin cans and old papers into the Great Elf Tower. We're here. Behold! The Great Elf Tower. Where? All I can see is a litter bin. What? Big people and fairies might call it a litter bin, but to us it is the Great Elf Tower. Why are you wearing those funny clothes? They're not funny. These are safety clothes. The Great Elf Tower can be very dangerous. And very smelly. Here goes... Uh, uh, Keep going. You're uh, almost there. Uh, uh, Have you found lots of things for making toys? Uh, not yet. It's a bit dark. I'll go down and take a closer look. Oh, dear. I think the Great Elf Tower is empty. Oh. Uh. Mummy, Daddy, can I have some more jelly, please? <laughs> <laughs> this is a really Dad, nice I can hear oh, big people. Sandwiches. We must stay out of their way. Big people have very big feet. Come on, Rex. That was a lovely picnic. Let's tidy up. OK, Dad. I'll take the litter to the bin. Thank you, Lucy. Come on, Rex. <laughs> That's the sound of big people. Quick! Go 
get out of the bin. Huh? What was that? I said, get out of the bin. It's not a bin. It's the Great Elf Tower. Just get out of there, you silly old elf. Excuse me. <laughs> Ooh, a little fairy. Uh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, and a smelly little fairy. I am not a smelly little fairy. I'm a smelly little elf. <laughs> it's that little girl we met at the farm. Yes, it's Lucy. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We're having a picnic. Look, Gaston, it's Rex. <laughs> he likes you because you're smelly. Charmed, I'm sure. Ooh, you've brought all your friends from Fairyland. This isn't Fairyland. It's the Little Kingdom. Load the elf trucks. Right ho! Lift ho! Lift ho! Lift, 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 lift! Catch ho! Catch, catch ho! Catch, 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 catch! But why do you want all this stuff? We use it to make toys. Wow! I love toys. But what do you do with all the smelly stuff? It makes lovely compost for the elf farm. Back to the elf tree! Let's get these down to the elf factory without delay. Wow! Look at that tree. There are little windows in it. I wonder if there are any fairies inside. Ah! It's all right, Mum. It's just our friend Lucy. Oh, uh, uh, nice to meet you, Lucy. Hello. Here's a little present to remind you of your visit. It's our latest toy, fresh from the factory. Wow, thanks. Is this made from my rubbish? Yes, that's why we're very grateful to you for putting rubbish in the Great Elf Tower. What's the Great Elf Tower? He means the litter bin. You're welcome. Thanks for showing me your tree. I always thought fairies lived in castles. For the last time, we are not fairies. We're elves! <laughs> in a castle, Lucy. Come and see! Wow! A real fairy castle! Ah! It's OK, Daddy. It's only Lucy, the little girl. <clears throat> Hello, Lucy. How do you do? Oh, another little elf. I'm not an elf. I'm a fairy king. Nice to meet you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Lucy! Home time. Oh, I have to go now. Thanks for leaving all the stuff in the bin. Don't you mean the great elf tower? <laughs> ah. <laughs> he really does like you. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Oh, dear. The car won't start. Look. It says empty on the petrol gauge. No petrol? Oh, that's not good. Oh, I wish we could help them. Uh, Nanny Plum, maybe you could sort this out with a bit of um fairy thingy. Fairy thingy? What's that? Mm, you, you know, the stuff you do with your wand. Oh, do you mean magic, wise old elf? Yes. Mm, magic. Very well. Magic it is. Thunder and lightning! North wind blow! Go, car! Go, go, go! There. Just enough fairy dust to get them home. Oh, we've got no petrol, but the car's working. Maybe this car is so modern it doesn't need petrol. Well, ask at the garage. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Thanks for mending the car. Lucy, who were you talking to? I met some elves and fairies. <laughs> That's nice. The car is shiny today. I've never seen it so sparkly. It's fairy. 
fairy dust. <laughs> what a sweet idea. <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Acorn, Dad! Look, Dad! All the leaves are falling off our tree! It's autumn, Ben. My favourite time of year. Mind you, there'll be leaf-sweeping work to do. Let's get everyone organised. <laughs> Calling all elves! Leaf sweeping! Right! right on. On. Who's the best at sweeping leaves? Elves are best at sweeping leaves! And what are we? We're elves! <coughs> oh, never mind. Who's the best at sweeping leaves? Elves are best at sweeping leaves! And what are we? So many leaves, I have to use three magic brooms. Nanny, why do the leaves fall off the trees? Goodness knows. Autumn leaves are so pretty. Oh, they might look pretty to you, Violet, but it just means more work for me. This one looks just like the leaf in Ben's hat. It's an oak leaf. It must be from the elf tree. I don't know why elves have to live in a tree. I don't know why we have to have trees. Or autumn. Grumbling again, Nanny. You should be happy. Autumn is here. Yes, Your Majesty. Where are you going, Nanny? I'm returning these leaves. Wait for us, Nanny. Who's the best at sweeping leaves? Hello, best at sweeping. Hello, wise old elf. <gasps> I believe these are your leaves. Oh, thank you, Nanny Plum. Hi, girls. Hi, boys. Such beautiful colours. Look, the leaves in your hats have changed colour too. Oh, so they have. Hmm, interesting. Let's play tag. OK. Tag. You're it. Wait, I wasn't ready. <laughs> tag. <laughs> Can't catch me. Ooh, look, a birdie. Where? Tag. <laughs> you tricked me. <laughs> tag. Holly zip. Can't catch me. I'm too fast. <laughs> Oh, look, a squirrel. You can't trick me like that. No, Ben, there really is a squirrel. <gasps> a squirrel! Easy now, Ben Elf. What's wrong? It's just a squirrel. Just ignore the squirrel, Princess Holly. Ah, uh, look, he's picking up an acorn. Sound the acorn alarm, Mr Elf. What's going on? It might be. Acorn Day! What's Acorn Day? Not now, Princess Holly. Calling all elves! Acorn Day has begun! Don't panic! Please leave the elf tree immediately! It's probably a false alarm. Yes, hopefully it's just a practice. There he goes! Mrs. Elf! Mrs. Elf! Hello! Oh! Oh! Don't panic, Mrs. Elf! Just hand it back! Get out of there, Mrs. Elf! Quickly! Will somebody please tell me what's going on? One day every year the squirrels come and store their acorns in the great elf tree. We call that day Acorn Day. What's so bad about squirrels storing acorns? Yes, they need to store their food for winter. And it's just an acorn. One acorn would be OK. But there are many squirrels and they have many acorns. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't stop him, wise old elf. It's not your fault, Mrs Elf. There is no stopping them once they've started. What do we do now? Now we wait. You see, after one squirrel has put its acorn in the tree, 
Another will come and copy it. Squirrels are very good at copying. <laughs> Happy Acorn Day! When do the squirrels arrive? Oh, have I missed all the fun? The squirrels have filled the elf tree with acorns, Daddy. Ah, yes. Very clever animals, those squirrels. They're a menace. Well, if you're going to live in an oak tree with little windows, you might as well put up a sign saying, store your acorns here. <laughs> well, if I've missed the squirrels, I might as well go home. Goodbye. Happy acorn day. Happy acorn day. Wise old elf, why don't you just move the acorns somewhere else? Squirrels won't let anyone move their acorns. Watch. Oh, what are you going to do now? Now we're going to move the acorns out of the tree. But you said you couldn't move the acorns. We can't. But we can trick the squirrels into moving the acorns for us. How? Wait here. You'll see. Oh, it's very clever. Is it really clever? No, it's stupid. But funny. Ta-da! Here we are. Squeak! Uh, why is the wise old elf dressed as a squirrel? Because squirrels copy other squirrels. Now, if I move an acorn, all the other squirrels will copy me and move their acorns too. But don't the squirrels need to store their acorns for the winter? Ha-ha, <laughs> yes. That's why I'll lead them to the dry, hollow log on the top of the big hill. Your costume looks very heavy. Uh, yes, but it's perfectly balanced by the tail. Ready for checks? Ready! Tail. Check. Acorn. Check. Squirrels watching? Check. Go, go, go! Squeak, squeak, squeak! We'll see you at the hollow log, wise old elf! <laughs> <sighs> Squeak! <sighs> Squeak! I hope the wise old elf will be all right. Squeak! Oh. 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 Squeak! Wise old elf! The, the squirrels, squirrels are coming! <laughs> Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> 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 Oh, good. Almost there. Oh, no! The tail has fallen off. Oh, I'm out of control. I can't stop. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, I love autumn. It's a pity I missed Acorn Day. Say, an acorn. How charming. Your Majesty, throw the acorn away. A talking squirrel. Throw the acorn away, Your Majesty. Ah, wise old elf. Where did you come from? The acorn, Your Majesty. It's dangerous. Nonsense. How can an acorn be dangerous? This lovely acorn isn't dangerous. Two acorns. It must be my lucky day. Yeah! Was that supposed to happen? Well, not exactly. But the castle is a great place to store acorns for the winter. Oh, what happened? Where am I? Happy Acorn Day, Daddy. You didn't miss it after all. Oh. How am I going to get rid of all these acorns? Uh, you will need this squirrel costume. What? How does that work? You wear the costume and the squirrels copy you. I see. 
OK, on with the costume, Nanny. Off you go. Chop, chop. Uh, eh? <sighs> Happy Acorn Day! Squeak! 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 Today's adventure starts at the lake. The Elf Submarine. Your Majesty, may I present the Elf Factory's latest toy, the Elf Submarine. Ah, yes. Jolly good. Does it float? Does it float? Of course it floats. Allow us to demonstrate. We carefully chose this day to test the submarine, as there are no other boats on the lake. Hello, me hearties! It's Redbeard, the elf pirate! Yo ho ho! Land ahoy! Um, should the ship be leaning like that? Maybe it's the weight of all that treasure. She's sinking! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! <laughs> Curses! Me ship and me treasure gone down to the bottom of the sea. How sad. Anyway, as I was saying, this is a perfect day to test the submarine with no boats on the lake. But what about Mr Redbeard's treasure? Yes, me treasure. How will I get it back? If only we had some way of sailing underwater to look for it. Ah, if only. Anyway, back to my submarine. Uh, there's the a... submarine! We can use the submarine! Clever Ben! Hang on! The elf submarine is a toy! It's not for going on adventures. Oh, so it can't go underwater? Yes, it can. It'll probably sink like a stone. No, it will not. Good. That's that sorted. Captain Redbeard, our submarine is at your service. Thank you, Your Majesty. But... But I'll be needing a crew. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Can I come? And me. I'd better come too. If there's any trouble, I can use magic to help us. No, Nanny Palum. There will be no magic on the elf submarine. Because we're elves. And elves don't do magic. Yes, we know. Is it all right? Polly, my faithful friend, you'll have to wait here. <laughs> Mr. Elf, steer the submarine. Aye, aye. Ben and Holly, wind up the engine. Aye, aye, aye Captain. What shall I do? Why, you just sit there and look pretty, my little mermaid. Oof. I know this lake. I've sailed on it often. Are you a sailor? I was a sailor. I'm not anymore. Why not? Big Bad Barry. Who's Big Bad Barry? Only the biggest, giganticest, most enormous fish the world has ever seen. He's eaten nine of Dad's boats. You lost nine boats? I thought I was a bad sailor. I'm not a bad sailor. Just unlucky. That big bad Barry is quite big. And bad. Dive, if you please, Mr. Elf. Dive, dive, dive. Oh, it's so pretty. Look. Where? What is it? It's Redbeard's boat. By Neptune, you're right. Well spotted, Ben! Oh, for a moment I thought you'd seen Big Bad Barry. Ho ho! Now I can get me treasure back! Let's get it and go. I don't like it down here. I love it! All the fish and the flowers and that big underwater cloud. You don't get underwater clouds, me hearty. Shiver me timbers! It's a fish! It's so big! It looks bad. Is it Barry? It is. It's Big Bad Barry. He's swimming towards Redbeard's boat. Oh, dear. He's going to eat it. No! Me treasure! <laughs> Did you see that? 
He swallowed it whole, like it were a grape. Oh, what a shame. Shall we go home, then? Go home? But we haven't got me treasure! Well, we can't do much about that now. I never thought I'd say it, but Nanny Plum is right. Unless you want to sail into Barry's stomach and take your treasure back, this adventure is over. You're right, me fruity pancake. Mm. Take us home, Mr Ralph. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Uh, who turned out the lights? It's all gone dark. Where are we? Oh, we must have sailed into a cave. Mr Elf was chatting instead of looking where he was going. I was parked. Well, we're somewhere strange, and no mistake. And I'll shave me beard off if there's not something fishy going on. Turn on the lights, Mr Elf. Aye, aye, Captain. It smells fishy. What's a pong? Where are we? Look, me ship! There are more boats as well. <gasps> it's Bunty, the boat Big Bad Barry had last winter. That's my old boat, Trixabel. And there's Fifi and Miss Boo Boo. Uh, if all those boats are inside Big Bad Barry, then we must be inside Big Bad Barry. By all that's wet and fishy, you're right. We're in the belly of the big fish. That explains the smell. Just think, all those years I tried to catch Barry, and now he's caught me. How are we going to get out of here? If we could get Big Bad Barry to open his mouth, we could just sail out. Oh, very clever, Ben. Only, how do we get him to open his mouth? Hmm, maybe it's time to ask for a bit of advice. Can someone answer their phone? It's not my phone. It's not mine either. Oh, it's mine. Hello? Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. What's that? They've got good news and bad news. What's the good news? They've found the treasure. Hooray! And what's the bad news? They've been swallowed by a giant fish. What? Are they OK? Uh, I'll ask. Is my submarine all right? It's not scratched, is it? Listen, Clever Clogs. We need your help. How can we get Big Bad Barry to open his mouth? Someone needs to talk to the fish. Nanny Plum can speak fish. Ah, Nanny Plum, you must tell the fish a joke and make him laugh. That's an idea. A very stupid idea, but an idea. What's the plan? I'm going to tell Big Bad Barry a joke to make him laugh. What utter nonsense! It was the wise old elf's idea. It's brilliant. Everyone back in the sub, get ready to sail! Hmm. What's a good fish joke? I know. <coughs> Did it work? I don't know. He might not get it. <laughs> Something's happening. I think he liked the joke. <laughs> Full steam ahead! Aye, aye, Captain. The elf pirate Redbeard and his crew return. It's a triumph! Hooray! Hooray! So you got the treasure? Nope. You got your boat? Nope. So in what way is this trip a triumph, then? Well, we're not inside a big fish. In that case, congratulations! It's a shame the treasure's lost. It's not lost. I know where it is, and no one will ever find it in the belly of Big Bad Barry. That's true. Of course it is, me tasty little fruit tree. Oh. Nanny Plum, what was the joke you told Big Bad Barry? It was, where do fish keep their money? We don't know. Where do fish keep their money? In a riverbank. Uh, <sighs> that's not very funny. I know. It's a bit of a rubbish joke. 
But then fish find the silliest things funny. They have very small brains. Where do fish keep their money? Oh, I get it. A riverbank. Oh, that's brilliant. 